Hey everybody, Brooks and Jack Times here. Welcome back to the channel. One of the most important things you can do when you get a new car, whether it's a normal everyday driving car or an exotic car, especially exotic cars like Ferrari, McLaren, 4GT, etc., is to protect it using a dash cam. It's one of the first three things I do when I get a car. Usually I ceramic coat the car, PPF the front to protect us against chips and so forth, and then I add a dash cam because that protects you on the road of what's happening when you're driving. Uh, if unfortunately, there's an accident, you have proof of exactly what happened. And also when you're parked and leave the car behind, to make sure nothing happens or you can see what happens, the dash cam is just essential. And today I'm reviewing the DT Pi Mini 5 4K dash cam and I'm gonna go through the unboxing, unbox this, check out all the features, install it and the Ferrari SF90, and then go so go over the image quality. This has 4K resolution, a 1.8 aperture, and it's got seven optical lenses, which allow for great nighttime viewing, daytime viewing, and everything else. It's got self-developed nighttime vision technology, so you can read license plates at night and get great resolution if you're driving around at night. It's also got 24-hour parking monitor, so it has this hardwire kit, which includes uh, basically fuses which can or fuse connectors which hardware in your car and this has a built-in super capacitor as well so it allows you to run the camera 24 hours when the when you've left the car so you know if you're parked in a parking lot and something happens you will have full recording with the dash cam there's an app that goes along with this which i'll go over allows you to download the footage that's how the sr effect which overlays the driving data on top of the driving experience. So I'm also going to do that as well. So let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed here and see what it's all about. All right, so here is the dash cam itself. Super, it's like a little stick. It's like a, a little kind of stick here and it's got a little wrap around it. Let's undo that. Get this thing really small and it's got another cover over the lens here, powered by USB-C on the side. Let's see what kind of other things we got in here. All right, so a cigarette lighter adapter with USB-A on one side, USB-C on the other. This allows us to plug in the cigarette lighter of the Ferrari and then USB-C into the little stick right here. And then I believe there's also a mount in here. You got a mount for right underneath the rear view mirror, as I like to put it. And it's got a 3M double stick on there. So pretty much what happens here is you slide this, you stick this on your windshield, and then you slide the dash cam in, and it'll allow you to kind of adjust and align this to the perfect kind of view outside the front of your car. The DD Pi also has five gigahertz Wi-Fi, so that allows you to swap the videos from the camera, which actually has 64 gigabytes of internal storage, so you don't need a separate SD card, and those SD cards always fail because you're writing and reading all the time. This has high quality SD storage inside, and then it's also got a super capacitor to keep that battery level very steady from power fluctuations in the car. So let's jump in the Ferrari, get this installed, take it on the road and see what the footage looks like. All right, so we're in the Ferrari SF90. Installation super easy. You got the cigarette lighter adapter. You plug in your USB-A and then I plug that into my power down here. That kind of lights up. And then the dash cam. Hello, ding, ding, pie. Ding, ding, pie. I guess that's what DD Pi stands for. And then we are all set up. It's all installed here. All we do is remove the double stick tape right there and then we're gonna mount it right up here and then allows you to kind of pivot up and down to get the kind of vertical angle of the lens. So let's go ahead and peel off the double stick tape. All right, so we peel off the double stick tape right there, nice and sticky and we got the orientation like this and then it's really nice and small. Wow, it fits right up underneath the Ferrari's rear view mirror adapter thing up here. So you press really hard right there and then boom, we are done. Let's check it out. All right, so there you go. It's like a two minute install. We are all set. You can see the blue light is powered on. And then this cord, you could actually run this up and around and down. And of course you can hardwire this using the hardwire kit to the fuse box. Uh, we're gonna get to that later because we wanna jump on the road and get some testing out here. Let's check it out what it looks like from the front. All right, so here you go in the front. It's really inconspicuous. You can barely even see it, but you can see sitting right there with the camera facing forward. Now let's jump in and get some footage. It's 4K, so I expect the image quality to be great. And then we'll demonstrate that SR part of the app where it overlays the data on top of the driving. All right, so now we're back from our test drive to get the footage, uh, we're gonna go over the app. You basically open the DD Pi app and you enter the device, you connect the device over Wi-Fi. And then right in here, you can just kind of scroll back to the footage you want. It's pretty, it's very fast. It's got that five gigahertz uh, 
Wi-Fi speeds. And then you click on the download button, and then from right there, it just downloads that segment uh, to your phone and saves it in your camera roll. All right, so right here, you can see it's downloading, and after you get your footage that you're concerned about, you just hit complete, and then it downloads to your camera roll, you can open up on your computer. Now you can also overlay the um, telemetric data uh, for your speed and all those kind of cool things. So to do that, you click on right here, this data part, and then it shows all the different metrics of your drive, direction, current speed, G-forces, mile an hour, and then max speeds. And then from there, you use the selector um, right here to toggle that on and off and then it'll save it to the device as well and so overlay all that data onto your dash cam video. So I went ahead and downloaded a bunch here and then uploaded it to the computer. So let's check out just how good the dash cam is with its 4K Starvis sensor. Now also in here, there's some settings for the speaker volume. Uh, you got installation guide. You can flip the image left and right. Your H.265, you can turn on and off the microphone. Your date and time display. Uh, you can show the speed, camera sensitivity and then a bunch of other options on here. You could change the name of your Wi-Fi, you could change the password and so forth like that. So let's jump into the footage now. All right, so here we go. We are driving down street, kind of local to my house, and you can see the 4K quality. It looks really, really good. Color's good, uh, smoothness is good. And you can see down, it gives you the miles an hour and the 4K image there, along with the date and time. And you can see as we turn the corner up here, even directly into the sun uh, the image looks pretty good as well all right so turning the corner here you can see even driving directly into the sun where a lot of other cameras have a lot of trouble with this quality is still still really good and that's because of that processing that the camera has built in uh, now we're going to flip to some of the footage where it actually overlays all the data so you can see that kind of cool sr effects that uh, the camera also has all right, so here's the example of the SR data. You can see on the left, we got your speed, and then you have the G-forces, which is actually pretty cool. So I should have done a launch, and you would have seen like some pretty big G-forces. To the right of that, you've got your altitude, and then your compass at the upper right. So it's pretty cool. You can see all this kind of live data. Um, it was uh, kind of telemetrics as you were driving, and that overlays into the dash cam, and then you save it to your phone. Founded in 2013, Ding Ding Pie is committed to enriching travel and lifestyles with innovative technology. They got 10 years experience in the dash cam technology, over 100 patents, and 100 million dash cans have been sold worldwide. All right, so that's a wrap of the DD Pie Mini 5 4K dash cam, Starvis sensor, 64 gigs of internal memory. It's got the hard wire kit where you can wire it up to your car and get 24 hours of standby activity. So when you're not around the car, you can see what's going on. It's got the overlay data for speed, the SR reality data, so you can see what's going on in your videos after you download them, pretty cool. Along with the five gigahertz Wi-Fi that transfers images to your phone really, really quickly. And the app is really easy to navigate, get that footage down and see what's going on. As always, I will put a link down in the description if you wanna pick up one of these. Highly recommended to have in all your cars. Dash cams are super important to protect your car on the road and while you're not with your car. As always, thanks for watching. Link in the description and we'll see you next video.